Okay, so in order to import a cultural file into Kingdom Suite, you need to first make sure what coordinate system you're in. So we go project um, down here to project management and click on the first tab which says projection and it should give you details here. So I have created my own coordinate system here. Um, well, sorry, I just defined a new one. So I know I'm in the Cape coordinate, uh, Cape datum, and I know I'm using Allo 29. So what I'm going to go to now is I'm going to go to Geosoft or any other program where you can convert um, coordinate systems. And I'm in, in my project already in Geosoft. Under Grids, I've got one of my maps loaded. So it's this one in a million geology. So I'm going to double click on it. And it just takes a while to load because it's a big file. I can also crop it just to a smaller area. That will help with it not taking so long. And so you can see that's the geology of South Africa. The problem is you can see here, this is in UTM zone 35 um, coordinate system. You can see in the bottom right. So I actually need to convert it first. So this, sorry, the previous export will not work. So go grid and image, out utilities, copy and convert. Uh, sorry, no, go grid and image, utilities, reproject grid file. You're going to select this grid file. So I go down here to geology one in a million. Actually, it's this one here. I go next. I've got to define the current coordinate system. It already knows it's UTM 35. I click OK. What is the new projected file that I want? Um, I'm going to save it in the correct place. Um, I have a Geosoft folder, and in that I have a Maps folder, so that I don't have to keep on going to different projects. I could just come back here for every project I know the maps are in this folder. So I'm going to write here Cape Allo 29, save, click Next, and now I'm going to define this coordinate system. So it's a Cape datum over here, and in Geosoft, they call it South African Survey Grid and Zone 29. You sometimes just have to be careful with this because sometimes um, Geosoft swaps the X and Y coordinates. So let's just check that this works. So it's taking a while just to reproject it. Great, so once it's done, you'll see when I put my mouse over the map in the bottom right hand corner, it says South Africa Zone 29. And so now we can export it. Go Map, Export. Make sure here to choose Arc View TIFF. Don't choose GeoTIFF or Map Info TIFF, Arc View TIFF. Um, viewed Region, you can zoom in a bit if you don't want to export so much white around the edges. Dots per inch is 150. Click OK. And now choose where you're going to save it. I'm going to save it in my Maps folder again. Um, I'm going to call it 1 million um, Cape Allo 29. So I know what my different maps are. Okay, so now I can go back here to Kingdom Suite. And I'm going to go up top here to... Oh, well, first, before I can do that, I need to first click on my base map. You'll soon see, as soon as I click on my base map, these headings change. I click back on a line, it doesn't say cultural culture at the top. Click on the base map, culture appears. And I'm going to go down here to import group. I'm going to navigate back to that maps file. And in this uh, file type column, I'm going to scroll down to TIFF. And now I can find this one. Click on it. I just need to give it a name over here. I'm just going to say Geology, and I'm going to click on OK. And you can see it's loaded in the background. The resolution is quite poor because I'm zoomed in quite a bit.